What's up, dudes? Chooch back with another video, and I'm out here ripping on the S18 and really getting the suspension dialed in on this thing. So this thing is taking a little while to tame, and I got a big review coming up. I have a ton of talking points. I actually filled up a field notes book of stuff to talk about on this wheel, probably more than any any other wheel I've ever ever reviewed. It's absolutely fabulous. Once you get this thing keyed in and you get your, your settings right on this suspension, it just floats. And there, I mean, it really does. So for, for this type of riding right here, uh, of course you want it a, a little bit harder, but for transferring to trail riding like this, I have it dialed in right here where it is just like you are air ride equipped. You know how the 18 wheelers say, say on the side, air ride equipped, they, they got the air, the, the hole like where you're sitting in the seat or whatever, and you just feel no bumps or, or whatnot in those 18 wheelers. This thing is air ride equipped right here. I mean, you can get on these trails and cruise almost, in, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping this thing ticked out where I'm comfortable. I don't want to push it up to um, full top end, you know? Uh, this is not a speed demon wheel by any means, but this is just a relaxing cruising wheel. If you want to ride terrain like this without beating your knees up, and you just want to be able to just cruise through here with confidence, um, this thing is like, it's honestly like a uh, boat in, in the way that it has a, a kind of uh, a speed before you, you kind of have your idle speed, you know, whenever you're, you're just cruising, and then you have your plane off speed. You know, it's a really bumpy ride until you hit your plane off. Um, if you're just in a speedboat or whatever, and you're, you know, you've all been there, and you're just idling, uh, the waves, man, you feel every single one of them. You know, it's just, they, they feel huge. But as soon as you hit the plane off, then you can just taxi and just feel absolutely no bumps at all. And that's how this wheel is. Um, it has, basically, I want to say, it, it has two gears, which is very cool on this wheel which I, I, I say two gears it doesn't have two gears but what I mean by this is it has two scenarios where you're gonna really really use the uh, suspension in different ways so number one is gonna be your high-speed trail riding um, suspension setup and that's kind of what you're seeing right here and this you want it a little bit stiffer I really liked it a, a little bit more floaty probably than most people would, would have it probably more more floaty than you'd have it even on a mountain bike and it's just it's it, it, it's an incredible feeling um I feel like once the novelty kind of wears off I might tighten it up a little bit but just having it just eat these bumps right now is just the coolest thing in the world I mean it really is it's, it's very neat um it, it, it does have its caveats, which I'm going to cover in the review uh, about this wheel. There is a few cons to it, but overall, I'm loving it so far, and getting the suspension dialed in has just been, it's been great. Um, but So what I'm talking about for the two gear type situation, um, your low end on this thing, whenever you're going slow, whenever you're going under 15, just because, I mean, you can regulate just the power of these things so easily, you don't, you don't need gears on but whenever you're going under 15, I'd say that's your first gear on this thing for off-roading. And what I mean by that is that's perfect for extremely technical trail riding. This is not that technical of trail riding right here. This is kind of smooth, open, tra open trails. Um, you can kind of go about 25 plus on this. Probably, I'm probably cruising to pick about 26 on most of this right here. And um, getting near 31 on, on a lot of the fast stuff. Getting, I'm getting near the beeper on a lot of the fast stuff on this wheel. Keep that in mind. So if you are a speed demon, this is getting near the beeper even on, on these open trails right here. But I'm having a blast with it, and I feel like I really don't need that much more speed. I feel like it's the suspension covers that the, the fun I'm having. And you see that right there. Uh, actually, I get a, a pedal clip on the side. Even though these pedals are high, you still got to watch out for rocks that are hidden in the grass. And you can do that dirt bike ride or anything. I could have, I, I would have done that on any wheel right there, but I was able to save it. And um, this is this wheel is really easy to recover from a, a, most crashes, unless you're on um, unless you're on gravel. The only, that's the one place I found this wheel is just terrible. It's just uh, on gravel surfaces with the high center of gravity on this thing. Uh, you really got to have a low tire pressure uh, on on gravel surfaces. You will slip out and you will eat it for sure. Um, that's one thing that absolutely will happen and I don't know of any way you can really control it but for 
for writing I did the other day, I didn't I didn't go and film it. Uh, I really wasn't expecting much up there. It's a trail I've never ridden before, and I didn't actually think that I could get on it. It has it's one of those that's weird. It allows mountain biking certain days of the week at certain hours. So um, I wasn't expecting to be able to go up there, but it was allowed that day. And I ended up doing one extremely hard mountain bike trail. My buddy did it as well. He he rode an MSX. Um, but there were several spots where he had to get off and push it over the rocks. And with this thing, I was able to have pedal clearance, number one, and number two, the suspension for, I mean, for big drop-offs, for going up rocks with weird angles. Um, just, it, this thing is like, this thing is like a um, fully set up Jeep for that type of terrain, you know? And you're going down it, I mean, this is a scaled down vehicle, of course, from your standard 4x4 Jeep or whatever, but this is a wheel that performs incredibly well in those type of Moab, uh, 4x4 obstacles, rocks, things like that of that nature that are on mountain bike trails, and I'm going to go back and film it. i got to go up uh, Four Mile Canyon to this place and go film this for you guys. I'd put it in this video, but absolutely, this wheel shines on stuff like that. And on that trail, it, it's a trail where there is just steep ravines on each side. Um, it's very technical. It, mountain bikers probably on the fastest spot, there's a fast downhill section on where you could probably go over 20 safely. But most of this stuff is under 15 miles an hour, even on the best mountain bike setup. And this wheel was amazing. We got up to the top and uh, a mountain biker came by and he was just he was amazed he's just like man he's like y'all got to call the uh mountain bike alliance or whatever or get, get involved in the groups around here he's like because they they absolutely will accept that in you know i mean this thing doesn't tear up trails you can't you can't lock up brakes or anything like that and this guy was amazed by it. he genuinely thought it was incredible that we had made it up as far as we did i mean we climbed a mountain on these wheels and um there was several spots like if, if my buddy i feel like if he had an s18 we would have both been able to cook up this no problem and get over a lot of the little obstacles but um even like even if i was on the, the msx there's several things where i would have not had the confidence to go over absolutely not and i would have dismounted just because i didn't want to clip pedals and that's where it really really shines is having that extra pedal height the suspension um there is definitely places for this thing and that's why i say you got to have multiple wheels um this is not something that you're going to want to grab if you live in new york and go zipping down the block as fast as you can trying to beat cars this is not that wheel but for stuff like this um this is it man you you get the suspension dialed in and this thing is the most fun you will ever have on any type of electric device like out of all electric unicycles i've had more fun on this wheel for sure I love speed, of course. I have an M Super for that, you know? And, and I can get the M Super and go crank on that whenever. But um, I, I really I really do enjoy this wheel, and um, it, it's, it was fun getting it dialed in. It, it's been really good doing that. Um, there's a chart that um, Mick uh, provided me that I'm gonna show you. There's a little bit of changes that I would do personally, but um, I'll break that all down in the review coming up, of how to get this thing dialed in for your weight, uh, how I would adjust it, and uh, I think y'all will be smooth sailing on it. I really do. And it's, uh, I got a lot of talking points coming. I mean, I couldn't cover all of it in this video if I had to. So, full winded review coming out on this wheel, and I think y'all are going to want to hear it because there is just, this thing is different. It's a different beast. Yeah. So. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. And if y'all want to pre-order this wheel, the Veteran Sherman, anything like that, click the link in the description. And it really helps me out with making these videos. Oh, man. I actually destroyed two 360 cameras. So I destroyed my Insta360 One X um, trying to go upstairs when I first got this wheel. I didn't even put it in. It's shameful how stupid this was. But I'll, I'll put it in. Um, I'll put it in a clip blocks. or something in the coming Look videos. That, and then I went out and bought the Insta 361R, which you saw in this video on the trail ride. Incredible camera, loved it. I was out for a ride and I did the newbie mistake where you go from basically like a grass or dirt path and you That's go to sweet, a sidewalk. Man. 
and I hit it at an angle, fell flat on basically my face, ended up tearing up my side a, a, a little bit, and then I cracked the entire um, one side of the 360 camera. So I really appreciate that you guys using the link, and that's where it goes to. I literally spent like $520 like replacing that camera. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Beautiful, dude. Hell yeah. That was sick. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That's a big gap, dude. Look at that. That's not... That is not a small gap, dude. I don't even want to try it on this. Oh, yeah. I think the, the S18 is sweet, dude. S18 is a go. It's so much fun. It's a fun wheel. Wow. Little stuff like this, like if you're doing long rides, you want to go 40, 50 miles, of course the Sherman's better. But if you got little parks like this, you want to hit little stuff. I mean, I literally found two parks a day like this just because of the S18. And it is the funnest wheel in the world, man, to ride stuff like this. It really is. Look at that. Just flying, dude. He was not hit. I, I, I don't even want to hit a jump on this thing. <laughs> That's sick, dude. That's so that funny. thing just launches. It does. I tried my fucking hardest like four times with that thing to send it over that jump. I, this I, just goes. You can pick it up with your fucking leg. After riding behind you on this, I see what you feel. You don't, the run up to it is so bumpy, you don't want to hit it, dude. Well, like, I mean, even if you fucking full send it up that jump, it's not enough if you can't pick the wheel up. Yep. He's fucking inspired Gucci pad. Yeah. Donkulous. The Fuji pads are cool, man. The way you can put your foot under those, that is really cool. Really cool. It works very well. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Beautiful part, bro. Whoa! Yeah, dude, the suspension works. What's yeah. your take on it, Rob? What's your take on the suspension? You just come up to a level of speed and it just goes totally smooth. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's sick, dude. I'm loving it, man. That thing's cool.